Today, I'm going to be giving you six of the laziest ways that you can start making money while you sleep. As somebody who works on multiple businesses day and night, I know how easy it is to get tired and to get burnt out. Now, because of that, I also know the importance of being able to set up some sort of passive income. Isn't like passive income the American dream? Now, contrary to popular belief, passive income doesn't just mean start making money out of nowhere. You need to put in some sort of work from the beginning to be able to start actually generating income on a daily basis while you're hands off or while you're pretty much not doing anything or sleeping. Now, all of the different methods that I'm going to be talking about today have some sort of way of being automated. Whenever you want to start a business that you ultimately want to make passive income, you want to make sure that it can eventually be automated. At the point of automation is when you really start to become hands off because that's when the business is essentially going to be self-sustaining. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Mario with AutoDS and not only am I a content creator for AutoDS, I'm also an entrepreneur. I like making money on a bunch of different ways and I really like making money passively. So the first hustle that we're going to cover is like for like.org. Now, like for like is an exchange for social media interactions. So here you can exchange credits for social media likes, comments, or shares. Now, it's no secret that people are obsessed with social media. And because of that, people are actually willing to pay for profiles that have some sort of social proof. So people are willing to pay for pages that have high follower counts, high like counts, and high engagement rates. Now, it's pretty cool and all, but where does the automation come in? How does this become passive? Well, there are actually different types of services that you can use to automate Instagram liking, Instagram commenting, Instagram following, or not just Instagram, but you know, any other social media website such as TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, whatever it may be. There's a bunch of different websites that you can go on and actually create a bot. And what these bots do is they're automatically going to go into different people's profiles and they're simply going to start liking their page. They're going to start liking the different photos. They can also leave comments. They can follow people. They can unfollow people. Whatever you want that bot to do, it will do. Now combine a social media bot with the likeforlike.org website and you have yourself an automated social media business. You can make multiple accounts, make multiple bots and link everything together and start selling multiple different social media accounts. The cool thing about this is that you're not limited to doing this just one or two times. You can keep doing this over and over. Up next in our second spot for the laziest ways to make some money is affiliate marketing. Now, affiliate marketing is personally one of my favorite ways to be able to passively make some income. And the great thing about affiliate marketing is that it's extremely easy to get started and you're not limited to just one way of marketing your products. So when it comes to affiliate marketing, pretty much the way it works is you sign up with a company, you start promoting the products, you get your own links. And whenever somebody clicks on your link and makes a purchase, you get a small commission. Now with affiliate marketing, there's quite a few different ways to make money. For one, you can focus on high ticket items. So you can focus on products that have high payouts. Some of the highest paying ones are going to end up being courses. So if you can sign up to be an affiliate marketer for a particular course, let's say a dropshipping course or a course that teaches you how to sell and buy stocks, then right there, you can start making some pretty good money. A lot of the times, some of these courses can cost up to $100 and some of the payouts can be anywhere between 25 to 50%. Imagine making 50% of $1,000 for each sale. That's 500 bucks per sale. That's not bad at all. Now, in order to get started with affiliate marketing, you do need to sign up to become an affiliate. There are a few different websites to do this, such as ShareSale and ClickBank. Now, aside from these two websites, you can also sign up to become an affiliate directly with different companies. Of course, each company is going to be unique, so just make sure you reach out to them or send them an email and see if they have an affiliate program. Now to actually start promoting your different links and getting them out there, there are also a few different ways to be able to do this. For one, you can write blogs, you can make content on let's say TikTok and have your link in the bio. You can make YouTube videos and have the links in the description. Let's say you're on Facebook and somebody asks a question and they ask for a recommendation. You can go ahead and reply back with a link to your product. Of course, you have to make sure that it's relevant. Don't just give anybody any link. So let's say somebody's asking for a course on health and wellness. Don't send them a link to a scooter or something like that. All right, up next in our third spot, we have automated drop shipping. Now we all know that drop shipping can be a very lucrative business when done correctly. But did you know if you automate the entire process, it can be even more lucrative. You can start making a lot more profits and you can be hands off at the end of the day. All that extra time that you're going to be saving, you can use to reinvest back into your business to continue scaling. So before we get started with this, what exactly is drop shipping? Well, simply put, it's just a fulfillment method. Essentially what you're doing is rerouting orders that come to you. So let's say I receive an order from my Shopify or my Etsy store. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and contact my supplier and I'm going to place my order with them. Now, instead of having that order sent directly to me, I'm going to have it sent directly to my customer. As soon as my supplier fulfills that order and gives me a tracking number, I'm going to go ahead and update my customer with it. And I'm pretty much done. I sell the product for hundred. I source it for 50. The remaining $50 is my profit. Now the entire process itself is pretty simple. It's a really low entry barrier business. So it's really easy to get started in it. But when you're doing the entire thing, the manual way, things can start to get very 
very time consuming, very fast. That's when you want to start implementing automation. So when it comes to automating your dropshipping store, you can automate pretty much almost everything starting from the product importing. So let's say, for example, I want to import or I want to sell this charging cable on my store. All I have to do is just go ahead and take that link, go on over to my account over at autods.com, which is a software that we're going to be using to automate our dropshipping stores and simply click on add a product. Here you can do multiple or single. For this, I'm just going to do single and you just paste in the URL. From there, you can go ahead and publish it directly to your store and have it ready to be sold. Or you can make any necessary adjustments to the title, description, variations, whatever it may be through the edit now button. Now, aside from that, let's say somebody actually goes to your store and places an order. What AutoDS will do then is automate the entire order fulfillment process. So it'll take your credit card data or it'll take your debit card, your banking details, whatever it is that you use to pay your supplier. And it's going to go ahead and log into your supplier's account and make the purchase for you. Then once that order is fulfilled by the supplier, AutoDS is going to take that tracking number and update your customer with it. As you can see, you're not doing anything yourself there either. You're not going to your supplier's website. You're not placing the order. You're not typing in anything. All you're doing is you're sitting back and just watching everything happen automatically. So as you can see, automated dropshipping can be extremely lucrative and extremely hands off. This can be a very good source for passive income. Now, if you do want to sign up for AutoDS right now, you can start the trial period for just one dollar. Now, before we continue, I do want to mention that if you want more information on any of the different methods that I'm talking about in this video, all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below hashtag I'm lazy and let me know which one of these different methods you think is the laziest one and which one do you like the most? Which one are you going to try out? Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll go ahead and reply back with a link to the cheat sheet. Also, really quick, if you are enjoying this video and you're finding it helpful or informational, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. And while you're there, make sure you smash that like button. All right, let's go ahead and continue. All right, next up on our fourth spot for laziest ways to start making some money, you can start making a faceless YouTube channel. Now, when it comes to making a faceless YouTube channel, it's really just that you make videos and you don't have to show your face on it at all. The whole point of this is to eventually have the channel monetized and start making money that way. Now, there's tons of ways to be able to do this, but the easiest one by far is by using AI. Now, there is one tool that I've used before and I found extremely helpful and it's actually really good. So you can go to invideo.io and on here you can sign up. And once you sign up, you can automate your entire content creation process. Now, getting started with InVideo AI is extremely easy. All you have to do is give it a quick description of what you want and then just click generate a video. It's that simple. Then what's going to happen is the AI is going to get a bunch of different stock videos that are relevant to the search terms that you entered, and it's going to mash everything together and make a video for you. Not only that, it's going to create the entire script and it's going to dictate the entire thing as well. From there, really, all you have left to do is just upload all your videos to YouTube and keep going, stay consistent, and eventually you'll get monetized. Now, if you don't like AI or if you find it too complicated or if you prefer to just deal with a real person, then you can go on over to Fiverr.com or you can also go to Upwork.com and from there you can hire freelancers. Here you are going to have to pay for everyone's services, but if you look for people that are located overseas, typically you are going to have some pretty good rates. And then of course the other option is to just do everything yourself. So write your script, film the video, edit it, and then upload it. Of course that is going to take a lot longer, but then you are going to be saving money. Up next on our fifth spot, we have TikTok video captioning. Now this is pretty self-explanatory, but a lot of people don't understand how they can make captions on their TikTok videos. There's a few different ways to do this. For one, you can go directly on TikTok and and click on the captions and you'll have the basic captions on your videos but those are boring you want those really fun ones that start popping up on the screen you know like these i have huge news for all dropshippers out there using auto ds you can now enjoy all of the benefits of automation people absolutely love these types of captions and this is what's really getting people's attention now naturally a lot of people are not going to know how to get these done but lucky for you i'm about to teach you and it's extremely easy all you have to do is download the app cap cut you can either download the app on your phone or you can download the app on your computer. From there, all you have to do is upload your short and click on auto caption. Choose the theme or the different colors that you want. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Now, some people might ask for one video. Other people might ask for multiple videos, maybe 10, 15, 20 videos. A lot of the times, whenever people are asking for such high amount of videos, it's because for one, they probably don't have the time to make the edits themselves. So they're outsourcing it to you or two, they just don't know how to do it. But in any case, you're going to be the one that's providing service. And this is the easiest way that you can do that. Now, everyone's says, if you're really good at something, don't do it for free. And to an extent, I kind of agree. But the way that I'm putting this is if you're really good at doing something, then charge people to teach them how to do it. Now, of course, different people can feel differently about this. Some people don't like charging for a course because you can simply find all of the information on YouTube. But there are people out there that actually enjoy purchasing courses. The biggest difference between getting all of your information from YouTube and getting your information from a course is the fact that
fact that a course is going to be a lot more well structured. It's going to be a lot more step by step versus YouTube, where it's just going to be a bunch of different videos all over the place. Of course, you can find different playlists on YouTube that are structured similarly to a course, but some people just prefer paying for one because they feel that they can get more value out of it. Whether or not that's true, it's really up to the user and the course creator. But from personal experience, creating courses can be lucrative. So if you're really good at doing something and if you're really good at explaining, then make a course. You can go ahead and sell it on Udemy and you can charge anywhere between five, 10, 15, upwards of 500 or even a thousand dollars, depending on how good it is. Now, the best thing about a course is you just make it once and that's it. If people start purchasing it, great. If they don't, it's just going to sit there. Nothing's really going to happen. So really at the end of the day, you don't have anything to lose except a little bit of time. And those were my top lazy ways to make money. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. It truly means a lot. Remember, if you want access to the cheat sheet, all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below hashtag I'm lazy and let me know which one of these different methods was your favorite and which one you think is the laziest. Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll go ahead and comment back with a link to the cheat sheet. Again, huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Once again, my name is Mario with AutoDS and I'll catch you guys next time.